Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Rita's Book Club. Uh, just a quick thank you to everyone that keeps watching my videos and liking my posts on Instagram. Thank you so much. I, I feel like I've committed, committed to this uh, theme of, of Pride Month um, in, in this month, June. Uh, so I'm bringing, I decided to bring you one of my fifth trilogies ever, Captive Priest. Uh, by C.S. Pacot. Um, this trilogy is made of three books, Captive Prince, Prince, Princess Gambit, and King's Rising. I read this trilogy a few years ago, but I always come back to it from time to time. I, I, I read them again, basically. Um, my best friend was the one that got me uh, hooked on, on these books, and um, I really loved them, so I decided to make a video about them. Uh, I, just a quick note, uh, because a few trigger warnings should be put in place, like rape, violence, uh, drugs, sex slavery, torture, death, and some mentions of pedophilia uh, for those um, who might be triggered by these issues on, uh, on the, while reading the books. Um, so, uh, just a quick uh, summary of the books. The trilogy follows the story of two princes from enemy nations. Uh, on one side you have Damon, who is a warrior hero uh, to his people um, and is the right heir, uh, rightful heir to the throne of Achilles. And on the other side you have Laurent uh, from the court of Veer and he is just a beautiful boy very manipulative uh, and very, very deadly. But uh, you see that they are opposites. Uh, and so when Damon's half-brother sees his power, he's captured and sent to serve Laurent as a pleasure slave. In the little uh, political web of fear, things aren't what they seem, and Damon soon realizes that he needs to team up with his enemy to survive and save his own country. Uh, but the problem is that Damon can't reveal his true identity to Laurent because he's basically the only man that can help him, but also has a lot of reasons to hate Damon and Achilles. I, I decided not to give you a, a summary of the next two books because that would be basically uh, spoiling you. Uh, the story is very, very well developed, developed so I, I decided not to, to give you too much. But uh, I just have to say that in the, the next books, you will see uh, both characters learn to trust each other and de depend on each other to reach their own personal goals, goals that might be very similar. Um, and they travel through Veer to Achilles in an epic journey uh, that will also teach you about true love. So that's very exciting. Uh, and again, a little uh, a heavy subject because I know a lot of people have mixed feelings about the trilogy. Uh, you either love it or hate it. Uh, it's very controversial. But personally, personally, I loved how the author wrote it and um, I, I didn't feel like the heavy subjects were, were being glorified and they were treated, treated with care and these characters too. So I, I really liked it and appreciated that. Uh, I also loved how much these characters grow along the story, especially Damon and Laurent. You see them at the beginning as enemies. They have every reason to be enemies and they were taught to be that way um, since they were kids. But they learn about each other's stories and they find their common ground. They understand that they have to fight uh, together to change, to change the course of history, of, um, to save their countries. And I swear to God that the loyalty, loyalty and love developed between them through the books blew me away completely. I, I really liked it. Uh, their dynamic together was really really good. Uh, I also, the story, as you may have figured, so figured out so far, the story isn't an easy one and it definitely will take your breath away a couple of times, uh, especially when you get a glimpse 
into some of the other characters. For me, especially Nikai's story was very heavy and I will always have a soft spot for him. But I also liked how you might start uh, the book hating out the characters like Laurent was very difficult for me to like on the first book I but you also learn uh, more about him and how smart he is it's like a schemer he has a scheme he has a plan always and you see through it you see it all through Damon's eyes so you are seeing uh, Laurent through Damon and you are understanding why they they will fall in love with each other. All in all, for me, this trilogy is like just a big 10. I can't give any other note because I, I've i read it uh, so long ago and I keep reading it uh, from time to time. I will pick up the books again and read. Uh, the, so the plot might be a bit cheesy for some people, but it's so interesting also the political and strategy things. You know I love ancient uh, empires like the Greek Greek one, and uh, this has a feeling of it of that part. So uh, I think it's it's a really good trilogy for for a lot of people. Um, I also want to give an advice: please go read the short stories that the author published. Uh, they are super cute, super interesting. You see um, not just the main characters. You These stories aren't focused mainly on them. They are focused on a few of the secondary characters that we didn't get a chance to see their their own, story, own backstories uh, in the books. And they are really lovely. And it's like a, continu a good continuation of the books. Um, so please just let me know your thoughts about this trilogy if you have read it and you can also uh, leave me uh, recommendations of books that you liked and you want me to read or make a video of you can send me a dm an email or just uh, comment on on this video uh, as always if you like the video please uh, like comment and subscribe to my channel you can also follow me on instagram at rita's book club for more content and thank you so much for watching and see you next week. Happy readings.